It's Paige Leanne. So I figured I would just talk with y'all about some of these great ingredients that I'm about to include in this DIY conditioner, deep conditioner for damaged hair. It also can be used on hair that isn't damaged because it helps to prevent your hair from being damaged. So let's get right into it. The aloe vera gel contains ingredients which repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It also leaves your hair smooth and shiny, promotes hair growth, prevent itching on the scalp, reduces dandruff, and overall it's just a great conditioner. The avocado oil repairs damaged hair, moisturizes your hair, reduces dandruff as well, and just gives your hair that smooth and shiny look as well, that polished look to it. Okay, so the peppermint oil, I know y'all have heard me mention this in a few of my other videos, but it does give that tingling feeling to the scalp, and basically they say that is to help promote circulation and basically stimulates your scalp for hair growth. Hey y'all, so... That was me just showing y'all this DIY deep conditioner that you can use for your hair. It has a lot of great benefits. So the spray bottle is completely optional. What I did in here, I have aloe vera water. So at this point, you can pour like a half thing of aloe vera water and you can dump this into here and then just spritz that all over your hair. That's one way you can do it. The way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to spray my hair in sections first with the aloe vera water. And it's also a few drops of peppermint oil because this is just one of my detanglers that I use to spritz on my hair. And then I'm going to come in and apply the deep conditioner. My hair may even need a little bit more than what I mixed up. So definitely if you feel that your hair needs like double that amount, double everything that I said. So instead of using half a teaspoon, use a whole teaspoon of the peppermint oil and just use as much conditioner as you feel your hair will need. I use just the Dollar Tree one because um, it's just a dollar and I feel that that's one that doesn't have too much stuff already in it. Okay, so with that being said, I just take and section my hair off into two sections and then into four sections. And that is usually how I like to work. If I don't do six sections, I usually do four. But for this, I will just, yeah. So I'm going to start off with the front piece so y'all can get a good look of what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to start off by wetting my ends and spraying all over my hair. Okay. And also this is a good way to do it first. So you can detangle and your hair will be completely detangled first before even adding the conditioner. But you can still detangle either way. And then I just take a good amount and I like to always start with my ends y'all. Y'all will see me focusing all the time. I just sling some all the way on my shirt. But y'all will see me really focusing in on my ends, especially because I did end up bleaching my hair. And that was just to lighten up, lighten up my natural hair color. A lot of people got the wrong idea that I was trying to go blonde. And that's not the case at all. All I wanted to do, I'm natural sandy brown anyway. So my hair has never been just black, if y'all couldn't tell. Um, my mom's hair is jet black, but my hair, I was born like with sandy brown hair and always has been sandy brown. And so I just wanted to lighten up my natural hair color. It wasn't to try to achieve blonde hair. I don't want blonde hair. So yeah, that's not what the whole purpose of um, me bleaching my hair was. So that is all I will be doing. You can see my curls are popping, y'all. So... I'm telling you, if y'all bleach your hair 
and your curls go away there's definitely something that you mixed up too much of or you did something wrong definitely go by the instructions and just make sure you research a lot before putting any chemicals into your hair y'all anything it can be you know it doesn't even have to be chemicals but just research is the main thing so i will go ahead and finish the rest of my head all i'm going to end up doing is just putting a shower cap a plastic bag i'm going to do my steaming method that i usually do my natural steaming method and then I'll come back, show y'all the finished results. Once I wash everything out, I'm going to let it sit in for probably about an hour. So after I got out the shower and rinsed it all out, I ended up putting my hair in just four twists and I had just let that sit for actually about two hours to three hours. So I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm just gonna show y'all cause I'm about to twist this right back up. But I just want to show y'all like, I still have plenty definition. My hair is super detangled and it just feels so lightweight. Like it feels really cleansed. That's another thing about it. Super duper cleanse. So I'm like, I don't know if the um, aloe vera gel did that, but yes, I just want to show y'all. This is the finished look. So y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. I have plenty more videos coming. Plenty more DIY um, deep conditions that I have in mind that I'm going to also share with y'all. I have a natural, all natural one coming next. That'll be the next one I'm going to try. So it's with all nat natural products. This would have been natural, but the fact that I used the um, aloe vera gel that wasn't actually from the plant and then I used the conditioner, so it wasn't an all-natural one. So, like I said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.